Hi guys, I want you to listen to this just for a few minutes. This newscast with another market slump. There's been a couple of them of late. Yes, it recovered later in the day, but many very smart people are saying it may be a sign of some uh, things to come. One of those is Peter Schiff. Uh, Peter is the CEO and the chief global strategist at Euro Pacific Capital. He's all over the Googles, as they say, and he's all over YouTube as well. I see him there myself all the time. Really smart, passionate commentary is what he offers. Something He often has a tendency to say things, by the way, that a lot of people don't. So, Peter, thanks so much for being with us. You know, I don't know if you caught the very beginning of the show, but I explained that there's a household debt issue of about $15 trillion out there. Um, is that the only debt that we need to be worried about? Yeah. Uh, no, everybody is loaded up with debt. And it's not like we, we began the, uh, this monetary experiment without much debt. We had a lot of debt in 2008. In fact, the financial crisis was about debt. It was about our inability to pay the debt that we had. But instead of addressing the problem and allowing uh, debt to be paid down, uh, the Federal Reserve led us down the primrose path into much deeper debt. By keeping interest rates at zero and holding them there for so long, the Federal Reserve actually encouraged an overly indebted nation uh, to borrow even more money. So now it's all facets of American society that are leveraged to the hilt. Individuals, corporations, the federal government, the state and local governments. So everybody is loaded up with debt. And guess what? Interest rates are now finally rising. And that means the cost of servicing that debt is going up. And this is going to be a problem just like an adjustable rate mortgage uh, was a big problem in 2008. When these things were resetting, people couldn't afford to pay. Well, the same thing is going to happen on a national so scale. Rates are going up, and we're too broke to pay. So the problem is if we try and normalize things, it's going to create chaos. Is there any way that we can avoid that at this point? No, it's impossible. In fact, because we kept it going so long, uh, the collapse is going to be that much bigger. I mean, the sooner we face that reality, the better. But no politician wants to face that <laughs> reality. Right. I mean, they want to pretend <laughs> everything is great. Right, of course. And, and by the way, the Trump tax cut. Does it alleviate the concern, worsen the concern? What does it do? Well, obviously it makes the concerns worse because if the government is collecting less revenue, then the deficits are getting bigger. And so now the government has to borrow even more money and that becomes an even bigger problem. What we need is smaller government. But nobody wants to shrink government, including Donald Trump, who's now the defender of Social Security and Medicare. He wants to launch another nuclear arms waste and start the Space Force. So it's all about spending more money. Uh, so Trump wants to spend more money uh, and cut taxes at the same time. I mean, that's completely reckless. All right, let me not ask you a question as a news guy now. Let me just ask you a, a question as, as, as Joe Citizen sitting out here listening to your conversation where I'm thinking, man, this guy's making some sense, but I'm very concerned about what he's saying. What are the signs that I should be looking for, and what should I do about it? Well, the signs are already there. I mean, look, the stock market is falling. 40% of the S&P is already in a bear market. So the stock market is forward looking to the next recession. Uh, you're looking at what's happening with the home builders, uh, the housing stocks, the financials, the retailers. All these are the same things that were happening in 2007 leading to that crisis. So people need to be prepared. This is not only going to be an economic crisis, but a political crisis as well, because the Republicans are going to take the blame and socialism is going to be seen as the solution. And it's going to make the problems that hmm. much worse when it's implemented, you know, 2021. So what you've got to do is get out of U.S. dollar assets. The dollar is going to be the biggest casualty, along with the American standard of living. But you've got to invest in foreign assets. Look. There's an awful lot of people who really believe what they are hearing from mainstream media, that our economy has uh, just miraculously healed and Americans are back at work and the unemployment numbers are so low and the standard of living is, everything's back to normal. Everything is back to normal and nothing is back to normal at all. Now, I don't care about Peter Schiff and whoever wants to say things about Peter Schiff, you're still in personality and not about principle, not about 
what's going on, not about truth, not about facts, not about evidence. But what this guy just said is what a lot are saying right now. So, stock market plunges again. Global stocks down five weeks in a row. Eight trillion dollars in wealth wiped out. Ten numbers that prove that we are rapidly becoming a nation of government dependence. Democratic Socialists of America. Socialism is here, by the way. It has incrementally just eaten away at a, well, did we ever have a free market? No. So th this was the design. The problem is not capitalism. The problem is corruption and greed that has been ongoing in our country forever. Stock market crash. The Dow has now plunged 2,368 points from the peak of the market. Teetering on the brink of disaster. 14 of 19 bear market signals have now been triggered. Global banking stocks crashing hard, just like they did in 2008. Middle class destroyed. 50% of all American workers now make less than $30,533 a year. There are indications coming out every single day that our economy is on the decline, not at all what mainstream media is telling Americans. It's unfortunate that so many are still so ca caught in this matrix, believing what they want to believe. That's the bottom line. They believe what, what feels good to them. And taking in the facts, taking in evidence of reality that doesn't feel good, they knock it out and claim it's just not happening. So for those who do that in the awake crowd, no difference between those who are sleeping and willfully ignorant and those who are awake who are doing the exact same thing. They are selecting information that allows them to continue living in a fantasy land. And we're big on fantasy here in America. We are big on just create your own reality, your own delusion, and live in it because it makes you feel comfortable. Knock out reality because, ooh, that's just, well, it hurts. All right. We have been hearing for six years that the crash is imminent. Now we're hearing it again. Do you take this information as, you know, the boy who cried wolf? No, you shouldn't. We know that our market is artificially propped up. We know that our economy is controlled by the few. And we know that when they want to bring on that collapse, they're going to do it. Will it be in the next couple of weeks? Will it be in November? It could very well be. And when that happens, I do hope that all of you are prepared for it because there are so many Americans who will not have anything. And because Americans are so living in that fantasy land and they have very little substance within their own self because they have been controlled by their own ego and money when they are without they will not have any core 
of morality or any kind of spiritual strength within themselves. And they will unleash all of their really bad behaviors to get what they need to survive. It is true that when you have a very profoundly sick society, when that society collapses, you then are looking at an awful lot of very sick people who live in your neighborhoods, who are capable of doing anything to survive themselves. And that's what we're looking at. So what's, what is happening now? I have seen in the recent weeks an awful lot of people coming out and saying, the dollar is going to collapse. No one says if. Everyone is saying it will happen when. Well, you just have to look at all of uh, the indications that are pointing to that collapse. The worst October stock market crash since, 20, uh, since 2008 got even worse on Friday wild swings up and down that we witnessed this week are very reminiscent of what we saw in 2008. Too big to fail banks around the world have already seen almost a third of their value wiped out. More retirement money is in the stock market than ever before and many Americans are very anxious about what a stock market crash would mean for their savings. In the end, a lot of people are going to get wiped out. Ten numbers that prove we are already rapidly becoming a nation of government dependence. When you have Americans who are dependent on a government, and when that economy crashes in that country with that government, you're going to see checks stop. Today we live in a country where most workers do not earn enough to support a middle-class family and we are seeing the homelessness crisis spiral, spiral out of control in major cities on both coasts. Democrats are openly embracing socialism but the truth is that we are already most of the way to becoming a socialist country. Do not think the Republicans have not helped that development. Most Americans cannot independently take care of themselves and that makes them dependents. And when you are a dependent, you are not free. The decline of the middle class is because it is, it, it, this is why he writes so much about the decline of the middle class because it is an existential threat to our way of life. If you look around the world or if you go back through history, you will see that tyrannical regime, regimes tend to thrive when populations are poor and cannot stand up for themselves. If we want our republic to survive, we need a strong, independent population that is not economically dependent on the government. That is what we had throughout most of our history, and that is now what we are rapidly losing. Please understand that what you are, the information that you are getting, is all propaganda <clears throat> about how fabulous our economy is doing. More and more people go over the cliff every single day in our country. So you're going to be seeing more and more people who are stressed to the max, even before any kind of collapse happens. And with these frequencies and with people who are now quite sick physically, mentally, spiritually, we're not looking at a nice future. It is not a pretty picture. 
And no, th there is at this point nothing that can be done because way too many people are unfortunately too sick to even fight this mess that we have properly. Most jobs do not pay enough to support a middle class family and the ranks of the working poor continue to explode. Americans are working harder than ever in 2018 and things continue to deteriorate. The cost of living is higher than the medium income in 42 U.S. states. 50% of all workers make less than 30000 62% of Americans say that their financial situations have not improved since the last presidential election. More facts right here for you. Uh, almost one in three U.S. households have challenges paying energy bills. 40% of American middle class face poverty in retirement. One in three Americans have hardly any retirement savings. Those over 65 years of age have been filing for bankruptcy in droves. Health spending has increased. Every, all, everything has increased and the standard of living has not. For those who are working, for those on Social Security, and well, because Americans love their fantasies. We're never going to get out of this. Dark days are ahead. I am not using hyperbole. We really have reached a turning point and things will never be the same again. And a perfect storm is looming on the horizon. You know, um, in in one of these articles that he writes, Michael Schneider, he says, one crisis could collapse the dollar. Just one now. And what is that one? Two Iranian fast boats approach U.S. warship while CENTCOM commander is on board. It could be anything that triggers the collapse. When we see the kind of volatility that occurred in the stock market in the last few days of this past week, that is an indication that we could be looking at a collapse on Monday or Tuesday, which has been pretty much the pattern of all collapses. But when we also see robot, robots are serving spicy soup at restaurants, robots, more and more robots are taking over jobs in restaurants. When we see that four industries that robots are revolutionizing, what are those industries? The healthcare industry, military and public safety industries, manufacturing and mining. You know that what you hear from mainstream media about Trump who has miraculously turned the economy around in less than two years and Americans are back at work. And then you see that we are in the midst of a revolution and that revolution will be robots, I, um, AI taking away jobs from people. You know that the economy is doing great for those who are extremely wealthy. The economy is not doing great for everybody else. And more and more people are losing their jobs. Artificial intelligence has advanced into finance, transportation, defense, energy management, the Internet of Things. 
That's why they're rolling out 5G as quickly as possible. The Internet of Things is facilitated by high-speed networks and remote sensors to connect people and businesses. In all of this, there is a possibility of a new era that can improve the lives of many people. That's right. They're claiming that robots are going to take away jobs from people and people will have more time to, uh, to spend on their hobbies. <clears throat> are you kidding me? This is not just the Brookings that says that, but an awful lot of people are claiming, oh, it's going to be great for people because they're going to have more time for themselves and their families and hobbies and vacations. Where the hell are they going to get the money for that? You know, it's like the dumbing down of America is has made our life completely and utterly surreal. Robo robots aren't coming for jobs. AI is already taking them. The thing is, the change is already happening, and anyone who tells you that all companies will shift workers to something with a higher value either has taken one too many hits off a jug of artificially flavored fruit punch or hasn't a clue as to how <clears throat> things actually work in most companies. Well, when you have companies run by people who don't care about anybody but themselves, well, then you have executives who say, it's, it's, it's not going to be rosy. It's about eliminating jobs. So the CEOs, the board members of the companies, make more money. By and large, companies will eliminate positions because that's what they're supposed to do. Keep people on for unnecessary jobs. Why would any executive do that? BlackRock, the world's largest investment fund, plans to have computers pick stocks for actively managed funds. And three dozen workers who likely once made an excellent living will no longer be with the company. This is what we are seeing across the board. Nine, nine human jobs that have been taken over by robots. Switchboard operator, bowling alley pin setter, lift operator, film projectionist, knocker upper, bridge toll collector, checkout cashier, railway station ticket seller. It's only a matter of time before robots continue taking more and more jobs. This is a revolution. It's a tech revolution happening right before your eyes. Factory workers. So when you listen to Trump, and he's bringing back all of these jobs. Do you really think these corporations are not going to be using robots? They absolutely will. So we're looking at massive changes taking place. <laughs> massive changes taking place that are displacing the human being. We have homelessness that is continuing to increase. I don't think a lot of people have a big picture view of what is taking place in this country. Um, and a lot of that does come from people just wanting to feel like things aren't that bad and Americans are really okay. They're not. More and more are facing a time of increased stress. So I just want everybody to be very aware of what is taking place. And 
really think about everything that could occur. You are looking at a stressed out population now. As things get worse, more stress will be manifesting throughout your neighborhoods in people. We're already seeing people act in ways that we've never seen before. People having you know, arguments and fights and people acting aggressively and road rage and all this kind of stuff. That kind of stuff is going to be exploding. And with the use of these frequencies, these microwave frequencies pulsing out of cell towers and cell phones and all of that affecting everyone's nervous system, we are looking at we're looking at a country filled with people who are teetering on the brink. So I hope you're not one of them and I hope that you've done the work to really strengthen your moral core, your spiritual core, that principles are guiding you, not personalities, not the red or the blue team, not the leader, Trump, or whoever. It's the principles that are leading you because the, that is what is going to keep you from becoming someone who, who begins to behave in ways that is contrary to how you, what you think you are, who you think you are. I hope I made myself clear. I hope that you understood what I'm saying. There's so much going on now. And I think because so many are not on the same page, it has made life more and more surreal. Because we have an awful lot of people who, well, during the Obama years, they understood that mainstream media was lying about all of the numbers regarding the economy and they knew that mainstream media was lying. They knew that our market was propped up artificially. And for some reason now, they've lost their ability to take a step back and critically think about everything. Now they've just, so many have dove right into, well, the Red Sea. believing that Trump is going to make everything great again. And I'm sorry to tell you, things have not... <sighs> more and more Americans are really suffering. All links are below.